I'm Jamie McDonald. Join me as we celebrate small businesses that make New York so unique. These New York Originals. There's something about candy stores, particularly chocolate ones, that make people very possessive. Of course, their local candy shop's the best in the world, and you have to try it. But in Woodhaven, Queens, they have good reason to feel this way. For their candy shop, Schmidt's Confectionery, has managed to stay in business since the 1920s. It's a, such a pleasure to come in here. And as soon as you open the door, you have that wonderful aroma of chocolate being made. And uh, it's almost you walk in on air. <laughs> Under the rumbling transit trains of Jamaica Avenue sits a lost slice of Europe, a place where candies are so unique, you'd be hard pressed finding them anywhere else in New York. It is Schmidt's Candy Shop one of, if not the only place in Queens still making sweets in-house and by hand. They use old world European techniques that are labor intensive and painfully sensitive to the elements, but oh so worth the trouble. Dozens of sweet offerings are displayed here in antique cabinets original from when Schmidt's opened in the 1920s. Margie Schmidt is the owner and candy maker in chief, making much of the sweets herself. I am the third generation from 1926. I'm the third generation, the only grandchild left in the business. A lot of people have moved away and they'll come back for holidays and then they get to relive part of their youth, you know, step back in time. A time when every neighborhood had a candy store. Back in the day, there was one on every street corner. It was a reflection of the neighborhood, your German immigrants, lots of children, lots of mouths to feed. Respecting tradition and just plain good taste, Margie sticks with her grandfather's original recipes. Margie is so dedicated to quality, she closes in the summer because the pure ingredients she uses don't work well with the hot weather. Well, our Carmel, I mean, you can't compare our Carmel to a Kraft Carmel. So we're closed all summer because there's nothing in the Carmels but milk, heavy cream, butter, sugar, and therefore it doesn't last. But in every other kind of candy, you have a list of preservatives, you know, a mile long, and here it's butter, sugar, milk, corn syrup, cream. So it, you can taste the difference, as they say. All of the chocolates are hand-dipped to ensure quality. And as I found out, it is a lot harder than it looks. Just. See, and I'm just going to work this, make sure it's cool enough. I don't use a thermometer. My father never used a thermometer. It's really, you know it by your hand feel. This is monotonous, uh, and I'm very fast, and each piece goes on. Now, see, as I'm dipping, each piece is getting a marking, and this is like a G clef from music. The wooden racks, just let it air dry here. Just air dries, which keeps it nice and shiny. And if dipping chocolate is a hard-learned skill, then making ribbon candy in candy canes is a PhD. All of it is hand-pulled, and as far as Margie knows, she is the only one in New York City still doing it this way. And even using her grandfather's original candy-making tools. Just mixing sugar and water. I'm gonna put it on the stove. You're boiling it. 300 degrees, pour it out on the marble so it sets up a little bit. This is cooling a little so I can work with it. We need it to be pliable. And now we're going to flavor it and cinnamon. It should smoke. After the red coloring is mixed into the candy, the white stripe is made. By pulling, you're adding air to it. And I can't tell you chemistry, but you're basically turning it white. The white is then added to the red and pulled. Margie's unique candies aren't the only reason people come back decade after decade. There's another lost pleasure here, customer service. The last man didn't know what he wanted, and, and I mixed it up and put in the thank you card, and then I wrapped it, he's like, 
you wrapped it. I'm gonna, and then the other man said, you don't have to wrap it, it's only for my mother. I yelled at that, I said, Susan would not tolerate that. I said, you must not be Italian. He said, I'm not. I said, yeah, you don't give grandma a box without wrapping it, you know. You don't get that unless it's a small store. You know, everything is mass marketed, everything is BJ's, everything is warehouses, there's no contact. You want to go in a store, you want to smell the chocolate, you want to touch the leather, you want to break the pickle. And that's a pleasant experience. Now, if you can't make it to Woodhaven, Marty does a brisk business via mail order. You can check out some of her selections online.